Hey, okay, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm making this easy. We're doing this uh, video all on the camera on the DJI Air 3. Uh, so I turned off obstacle avoidance so I could get close enough to the camera to, uh, to talk to you. Uh, but this is going to be real simple. As you can see on the screen recording, we've only got 68% battery. So uh, anyway, long story short, I'm going to take the drone out and we are going to do a quick uh, waypoint hyperlapse. We got some kind of interesting clouds and, uh, you know, just something to do. It's an excuse to fly, really. Uh, but uh, let's get it in gear. Let's take this guy out there and let's do a quick hyperlapse and, uh, and see how it looks. Waypoint hyperlapse. Turning obstacle avoidance back on. Okie dokie. Uh, kind of messing around here. I accidentally had it in spotlight mode there. Uh, so I, uh, I was uh, struggling there a little bit. Hey, okay, let's, uh, let's do our droney and, uh, and let's get started with this, uh, with this flight. I'm going to move around here. we got some people running around, so I'm going to get up and out of the way uh, before they get underneath us here. So you can see where our uh, uh, home point is up there. Let's grab a little bit of altitude. You can see where I'm standing over by that uh, picnic table. Uh, but anyway, never fails. Uh, there's nobody in the park, but then you get ready to take off and there's a bunch of uh, action around you. So I was just trying to be careful to uh, avoid to getting in these people's way that are playing uh, uh, fris or <laughs> I always want to say frisbee golf. They get mad if you say that disc golf. So, uh, so yeah, let's move forward here. And let's figure out where we want to go for this. In fact, I think what we, what we might do is, and we want to have a fair amount of the sky in the picture here. So let's go ahead and start right here. So I'm going to stop recording. Uh, and I'm going to click on that film strip at the top. And we are going to go down to hyperlapse. And uh, we also then, we've got the hyperlapse menu. Uh, we could do a free hyperlapse, course lock, but I want to do a, a waypoint. So that little Z looking thing there at the bottom, clicking on that. And uh, we are going to, uh, let's get rid of that uh, dialog box. And we're going to, we want to set a waypoint. So we're going to set a waypoint now. And then let's move forward. Well, we're using up battery quick, so we're going to have to do this uh, fairly quickly. Set another one here. And I think I'm going to leave the uh, camera angle fairly even. Set another one here. Continue to move forward. And you can see where I'm kind of going there, kind of towards the, uh, the intersection there over the... Uh, over the, uh, 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 the, the, the field. Uh, sometimes when you're flying and talking, it just doesn't work very well. So let's kind of get more into the corner. Get another one. And then I'm going to move sideways here a little bit. Move around. And set another one and move sideways some more and boy you can see it's about four o'clock in the afternoon or so and the sun is nearly down it's crazy this time of year and then let's back up and set another one and one more and we're going to call that good now let's go i'm going to click on the three dots and let's see, I don't know if I've got it. Have I got enough to do a nine second one and be, yeah, we, that's going to be close. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can turn this into a 13 second hyperlapse. This is going to be close. Let's go ahead and hit start. Aircraft is flying to the first waypoint. So it'll go back to its first spot and, uh, and then it'll start this mission. So it's flying back, 
and it'll turn around and uh, again it'll take it almost nearly 11 minutes to fly the mission but I think we got enough battery for that this uh, uh, pretty good battery power on this on this drone so yeah we're further back than what I initially thought so should be spinning around here yep and it'll start to take pictures Okay, we'll let this run, and uh, I'll uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. Hey, okay, looks like we got less than 30 seconds to go here, and the sun is just peeking out from behind the clouds there. So that's going to look pretty darn good, I think. Uh, hopefully, we see some good cloud movement, and then we got some, uh, you know, cars and stuff moving. Uh, the holiday shoppers moving through the scene there. And uh, we called that just about right on the battery. Uh, it's wanting to come home. Yeah, I click cancel. I click cancel on that. It's creating the video. I'm going to let it do that. And once it's done doing that, I'm going to hit return to home. And uh, we'll see if this guy will get us a precision landing. Uh, yeah, there's 100%. So it's ready to go. So uh, I, will, uh, I will show you that uh, video right now. Yeah, we'll play it through a couple of times. Okay, we're back in video mode and started recording again, so I'm going to hit return to home on the uh, controller. And, uh, you know, we should have that dynamic return to home. Yeah, you see that green line and augmented reality there. Uh, and it's, it's coming on back to us. We're at 19% battery. We're going to be in great shape here. Uh, and yeah, we'll just see how cool. Man, the sun is coming out. It's getting bright and warm again. It was kind of cold there for a second. Now it's warming right up again. So uh, that drone will be uh, coming down here uh, any second. And I just had a bunch of kids running by, so I just want to pay attention and make sure we're out of their way. Uh, you're going to see them running over the top here as the drone comes home. Uh, let's just let the drone drop its own camera down. It will do that automatically in an attempt to get that precision landing. So let's just see what it does here. Down to 17% battery. I called that, I think, perfectly on the length of time on that hyperlapse. So that worked out quite well. Uh, and you guys have already seen it. I haven't got to see it yet. So yeah, now it's kicking the camera down. Let's see if it zeroes in on that, uh, on that pad. Uh, it may or may not. It's pretty darn close as you can see there, but it doesn't appear to be moving over the pad. Yeah, I'm going to pause and I'm going to move it forward here. And uh, let me uh, drop that camera down and yeah, we'll get it over the pad here. So we didn't get a precision landing, but of course it's low on battery. Move it over. Let's put it in landing mode and let's get down on the pad. So there we go. Landing. Down on the pad. Okay, I'm not going to shut off video. I'm going to pick the drone up and we're going to do our conclusion here on the table. Hey, okay, uh, we're doing all this with just the uh, camera on the Air 3. Now, you guys will have already seen that hyperlapse. I haven't looked at it yet. Uh, I'm anxious to see that, but uh, I think it's going to look pretty good. But, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you how easy it is to do with this drone. Uh, and oh, by the way, today is December 5th. I may not post this video for a couple of months, so if it looks a little bit outdated, you'll know why. When we get decent weather, I, I like to fly 
because I know we're getting into the winter months where it's going to be tough to get out there and, and fly. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that because I sure had fun doing it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And of course, we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.